good morning and welcome to the Halbe Geilstrecke. Welcome to my first overnighter of 2024 and my first ever solo overnighter. What I'm doing is uh, a route called the Limburg Divide, also known as the Geilig Strecke. It's a route that goes from Nijmegen, which is my former hometown. I was actually born there and lived there for 25, 30 years or so. Uh, and the route goes down to Maastricht in the southern tip of the Netherlands, well, almost. This route has been amazing. Like I said, the start was in Nijmegen, my former hometown. It was a bit weird actually, or fun, or... Uh, I kind of got homesick when I saw my old city. <laughs> and all the areas that I used to ride when we lived there. Uh, but now I'm about 35 kilometers en route. It's 10.30 in the morning. Uh, yeah, like I said, amazing route. The only thing is I have to uh, yeah, chop it up in the second day. So I'm only doing half of the Limburg divide. So basically doing the halbe geile strecke. Uh, because the finish line of the complete course is in Maastricht, like I said, and there are no trains tomorrow. So I wouldn't be able to get home. So I had to change the second day and ride from where I'm gonna camp tonight in a straight line, almost, back home. Which isn't too bad, because tomorrow there's a lot of rain forecasted, so maybe a good thing not to be on the bike the whole day tomorrow. It's 11.30 now, I've done about 40 kilometers. I just had some sandwiches that I bought at a small supermarket a couple kilometers back. We're starting to get a bit of hungry, which makes sense, because uh, it's about lunchtime, I would say, because I was up quite early this morning. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this uh, overnight uh, was to test my new bikepacking setup. A, while, a couple weeks ago I bought a tail fin arrow pack. Uh, yeah, and I just want, <laughs> wanted to play with my new toy. So the weather is nice today, like I said earlier. So why not get out and give it a try, give it a test. It's starting to get more muddy, but it's still rideable. So happy days. <laughs> Ooh. Now we're talking. This is a road to catch my breath after some muddy sections. Ah, oh, look at this. I'm in heaven. So 
this is my new bikepacking setup. As you can see, it's a Canyon Grizzle 2020, I believe. And it has the GRX uh, group set, the mechanical one on there. And what I'm running is a Topeak handlebar bag with my sleeping bag, sleeping mat and pillow in there. I have a Canyon top tube bag with some uh, small items, some energy bars and my keys and my wallet. Then in my frame bag I have my toiletries as well as my spare uh, inner tubes and some uh, bits and pieces in case my bike breaks down. And then I have two four page bags that I've actually mounted onto my tail fin as you can see. One of them, one of them has my spare clothes, the other one has my well off the bike clothing. So. Uh, trousers for tonight, the shirt, the boxer shorts, stuff like that. And then on the back, the beautiful tail fin. It has my slippers attached to the outside and then in it is my tent as well as my down jacket. Time for a little Snickers break. I've done uh, almost 80 kilometers. Let me see if I can show it to the camera. I don't know if you can see that. And it's going really well. I have 29.7 uh, kilometers to go. It's quarter to two, so I have plenty of time to get uh, to the campsite before dark. It's a beautiful route. Can't say anything else. It's a little bit muddy here. Look at my bottle. <laughs> Hello. I'm uh, at the campsite. I, uh, <clears throat> my GoPro battery died, so I didn't film much of the final 20 kilometers of the ride. But it was fine, it was good. Uh, last little bit was a, a bit through the city and stuff, so you didn't miss much. Now I'm at a lovely campsite, uh, warm welcome by the campsite owner, and I'm the, the only one here. So I'm gonna pitch a tent uh, and then uh, ride into the village close by and grab something to eat. I just had some horrible food at a small restaurant in a village close by and the supermarket was still open so I managed to get some, uh, some breakfast for tomorrow morning and I bought myself a little treat for uh, when I'm back at the tent. I'll show you guys in a bit. I probably look a bit disheveled. Uh, also feel a bit tired. It was a good day but a long day. Um, 110 kilometers done from Nijmegen this morgen. More morgen. Start to talk to you but this morning and then uh, I'm very close to Venlo, Barlo, uh, further south in the Netherlands. Um, ooh, my treat. <coughs> this is what I got for myself. Very salty licorice. Uh, I can do with a bit of extra salt now. Um, plan for tonight. Turn in as early as possible. Uh, I'm gonna put my bike in that shed. Uh, so it stays dry. It's probably gonna rain tonight and tomorrow, so I'm hoping to pack everything up as uh, dry as possible, but uh, chances it will be very wet tomorrow. So for tonight, uh, maybe a little bit of reading and then uh, early bed. Good morning. It's already raining a little bit, so I'm happy I have this little recreational area where you can sit as a tent camper. And I use it to, uh, well, pack up my stuff and do it as dry as possible. I'll get on the bike uh, as soon as I can. I think in about half an hour, 45 minutes, I'll have everything back on the bike and uh, brush my teeth and everything. And then it's uh, 66, 67 kilometers. Uh, back home. First challenge of the day, my Garmin is not picking up any GPS signal, so... <laughs> God damn it! 
I have signal again and the first two kilometers of this morning were in the wrong direction so that's a good start <laughs> again <laughs> let's try if I can ride on this side it's very tricky Whew. because of all that hiker biking I did 13 kilometers in the first hour of riding <laughs> Typical Dutch weather of wind and rain. Uh, I have 35 kilometers to go, and if I can find some shelter, I'll uh, just stop for a minute or so and have something to eat. Right, a couple of things I learned uh, during this uh, overnighter. First of all, I forgot a charger, so I did have a power bank and some cable, so I was fine, but because my both my Garmin and my GoPro don't last the whole day anymore I really need to remind myself to uh, uh, bring one of those uh, plugs or whatever they're called uh, furthermore yeah about the Garmin and the GoPro I think for the GoPro I would need to buy an extra battery or two to last longer and the Garmin yeah I've had it for several years now so uh, I might consider getting the uh, the solar version of the 1040. That will be ideal, of course, for very long days in the saddle. So other things, uh, my tent and my sleeping mat. The tent is still okay-ish, but it's a couple years old and it's starting to sag a bit. And my sleeping mat is definitely a summer thing. So I could do with a bit more isolation, having a sleeping mat with a higher R value. It was doable last night, but yeah, could have been a little bit warmer. So with this winter, I should have brought an extra base layer, a winter one and an extra winter jacket. Uh, the ones I had on yesterday were still completely wet from, well, being a little bit sweaty. And they don't dry, of course, in this weather. Uh, so that's also a learning. Other than that, I think I, well, I did bring extra pair of winter bibs and socks, so that was a good thing, but just the tops, I should have brought an extra pair. A couple more things that I learned. First of all, this jacket is not waterproof. I am soaked to the bone. Uh, second of all, of course, I should have brought a rain jacket, but to be honest, I don't have one, so I'll have to buy one. And last but not least, don't eat at a chip shop you can smell from a mile away. I ate at a very cheap chip shop yesterday evening and I have been farting all night, so good thing I didn't have any neighbors. It stopped raining super hard. <laughs> it's now only drizzling. And I have the wind in my back, so hallelujah. Uh, just a couple more kilometers and I'll be home. Maybe 10 or so. Oh, let me have a check. Oh, 14. Fine. Just a couple more kilometers, guys. Uh, I just have to follow this canal and then I'll be home. So, hallelujah. Great weekend. I'm going to do this solo stuff more often. Why not? It's so much fun. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.